Hey everyone, welcome to Thursday's installment of the District 1 Preview. Uh, today we're going to go over a few things. Uh, we have some interviews of wrestlers uh, that we compiled over the preseason here that, you know, where they can talk about their expectations for not only their team, but themselves as individuals. Uh, we're going to talk about the top returners, we're going to talk about the top freshmen, and we're also going to touch on our college commits, which we have a pretty impressive list yeah. up to this point and i think it's only going to get better as the season goes on uh you know just from the early commitments we've seen so far so you know let's just uh dive right in with the video season's been pretty good um you know, just putting the extra work on a prtc and uh you know just going out there and, um putting all the extra work yeah it's definitely motivated me to work a lot harder and um, last year, um, I was obviously a little disappointed not getting on the podium and losing a close match. So um, after that match, just worked harder and uh, you know putting in the keep up in the extra work. Um, you know, going going to places, uh, traveling far, a couple hours even if I have to to um, you know get it back on that podium, trying to win it this year. Practice has been great. We've been going through a lot of technique, a lot of preparation for the season. Uh, we're ready to go. We're ready to hit the mats and go rolling. Uh, the expectations I have for our team is I would like to see us get to districts because we haven't been there in quite a while. Be a good moment for the team to make it and a good end of the season for us. My main goal for this season is be up at the top of the podium at Hershey. Uh, it's been one of my goals for a while. I've put in countless of hours of work with strength, conditioning, working out, on the mat, off the mat, been everywhere, just to put it all together so I can help almost achieve my goal. So our coach is always um, really used to uh, watching us work really hard and I think we know that and we're used to that and we just need to keep doing that. For me, my goal is I want to make it back to States and I want to be on the podium this year which I'm really working to be ready. With our guys, the biggest thing is we always push each other so we just got to keep going and um, we have a lot of talent still, even though we lost a lot, as you can tell. But um, we're going to still be a really strong team this year, and uh, we work hard every day in the room. Well, uh, we're hoping for uh, four-time district champs. We lost a lot of key players from last year, but hoping some kids from the JV stick, uh, stand up and fill in the spots to their job, and then maybe we'll have a good season. Uh, I'm really looking forward to 33 wins for my 100, and just Getting on that podium, working hard. Uh, practice has been good. We've been doing a lot of conditioning, getting really getting in shape and building a lot of muscle, I think. And I think our expectation for the team this year is to just make it back to Hershey at State. And I think that we've got a pretty good chance of getting it. I want to get back on the podium for girls' states. Uh, that's my main goal this year. Well, nothing changes. Even though we lost a lot of kids last year, still, th still same thing. Get on the podium at States. We want to win districts. We're the underdogs this year, obviously, because we lost a lot of people last year. But uh, a bunch of new guys coming up, trying to help us out in the lineup. We got Thomas Walsh and Muhammad, Lucas Doyle coming up. And then we got returning heavyweights like Aleski. And then we got a new kid that actually played football that we got on our team. He wrestled in middle school, Brandon Burkhire. He'll be our 220, probably. But we got a lot of guys coming back. We got like five state qualifiers coming back. so. We're not looking too bad, but my individual goal is obviously state champion, but this year I'm not cutting as much weight, so I'll probably be doing 26, 20. So. How does it feel with the, the new weight and, and kind of stepping up? Oh, I feel so much better. It's just like in the wrestling room, I'm not, I'm wearing shorts and a shirt rather than three pairs of pants, a sweatshirt. It's going pretty good, feeling good, team's looking good. Uh, just taking everything in, now that's the last year, like, you really realize like how much like these coaches have done for you and so like just taking it all in. It's it's really crazy. Like I remember when we were all like little kids going up wrestling at CRWA and like we've all progressed and so the fact that like we all know each other since we were growing up just makes it even better because now we're wrestling for each other and we know we have something special and we just gotta put the pieces together and, and get it done. Team wise obviously we wanna we wanna make it to states, we wanna win districts again going for four this year. Um, the team expectation, you know, we we give 100% every effort, every time. 
So no slacking, no taking goes off, just go, go, go. And uh, individual wise, you know, you want to make it as far as you can. You don't settle for anything. Even in a tournament, if you get knocked out, you go back for third. So you just always back at it again. Um, and obviously I want a medal. Do as best I can at Hershey this year. Usually I go with Gianni Gilch or Mike Rappa, one of our coaches. You know, um, they give me a challenge. They make sure I'm working hard every time. So if I'm not going with them, I'm going with the coach. Uh, this summer, I went to a lot of camps, just trying to fix some technique, work on my mistakes. Went down to Fargo. Didn't do it as well as I wanted to, but I went there. Um, I went down to Junior Olympics, took third as a team. Got some nice wins down there. What team was that? Uh, Mawa. So, um, yeah. And uh, basically just going, going, going. It doesn't stop. The grind doesn't stop. So. I think it's awesome. I think the team's looking good. We're working hard at practice every day, so we're getting our conditioning off. We're looking good technique-wise, so I think we're going to be good this year. It's the same as every year. I want to be a state champion, so just working towards that every day, and I want to like dominate this year, so I get to the top of the podium. Uh, just the right things every day, from like practicing hard every day, eating right, get my weight under control. Everything, everything plays a part into my goals. So, like living life like a wrestler, to tell you. How you achieve your goals, so. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing, and I think we all know that, like, we have something special going on right now, so, like, we keep that in mind every day as we're working, and we just kind of, like, try to push it further, because we know that we, we have the opportunity to, like, achieve something that, like, our school's never done, and it's just something that we all strive for, so. All of our guys are working hard every day, and we want to we be the best, so we want to win. Off-season went well. I uh, didn't do quite as much freestyle this off-season, I just did JOs. Um, try to keep an emphasis on folk style because I had it and even in the springtime I was had my goal set on Super 32s. So that was kind of what my training cycle was over the summer. That was what the, the mission was. Um, lost a tough one in the blood rounds there, um, but got some good matches in, got to wrestle some tough PA guys along the way. And uh, I think I have a good foundation on what to build off of this season. I mean, the goal is to win a state title. Um, along the way, it's having fun, trying to get better every day. I know. As long as I do that, I keep that full effort every day in practice, work on the things I need to do, then uh, the rest will take care of itself and I need to just do, just wrestle out there on the mat. We got a really special team this year. Uh, we have four guys signed right now, going D1. Um, I think that's really special. I don't know that Council Rock North has ever had that. Um, so I'm really excited about that. As a team, I mean, dual meets are still gonna be tough for us this year, but I think some of our guys are really gonna step up. Some of the guys that were falling short in some of the big matches for us last year are gonna step up because I think as a team, over the summer and in the spring and in the fall, we found more ways to train together and on our own. And uh, I think everybody was just super locked in because we knew we were a two-year team. We didn't have any seniors this year or last year. This year, we're returning our entire lineup and uh, we're looking to take over everything. I mean, it's, it's really special because these are the guys that I grew up with too. Uh, Cam Robinson, Kyle Hauserman, and Sam Hayes, these are guys who grew up wrestling. Me and Sam wrestled our first match ever against each other when we were little kids. So it's really special to be graduating and know we're all going in good spots. And I think that's kind of the culture we bred on the team. And uh, I think that's, that's part of our efforts as captains over the last couple of years is that we kind of bred this culture where everybody's trying to do good in school, everybody's trying to do the right thing. And uh, I think that's paid off. And I want to be remembered as a group that kind of set the foundation for future Council Rock North teams. Because, uh, I mean, coming up, we, North has always had a great team. But um, I think like the work ethic and even just like from last year to this year, our first day of practice we picked up right from where we did last year. So I think just moving forward, Council Rock North is going to be more than just a public school high school team. I think we're going to be a state powerhouse in the upcoming years and I think we're going to keep that going. Brecht has been doing real good. Um, we've been doing a lot of conditioning like Sammy said. We've been working hard and drilling good. So we'll, we're hoping to make it to states as a team again and hopefully place at least next year uh, to make it back to states and um, place higher than top eight or eighth again this year. I went to a lot of camps. I went down to South Carolina to Campbell. That was a good experience. Uh, coach Bang, I, he's my favorite coach. He pushes me every day, stays after practice and gets me to the next level. Um, this season I fully expect to get back to states and win a state medal. Uh, the team, I think that we can be pretty solid. I think that we have a chance at cracking states as long as we stay healthy and keep on working hard. All the kids are hard workers and have a lot of potential. I wrestle with Coach Dex and Coach Bit, uh, Coach Jason all the time. They, they push the whole entire team all the time. Um, I really think that they help out the team and I think they push everyone to the next level.
They push everyone to the breaking point. Uh, they've been going good this year so far. Uh, we're missing some spots here and there for the team. A few weight classes. This year, we're really relying on these freshmen, new kids coming up. Uh, we're low on seniors, one senior this year, a few juniors. Personal goal is just to do probably as well as last year, maybe better, uh, work on some stuff that I need to work on. This year, I've been working more over the summer, getting better at some stuff I need to work on. You know, the team's looking really good. The first couple weeks, or first week actually, we've been coming in, everyone's training real hard. You now we lost a couple kids, a couple seniors, but that's all right. We had a couple good kids uh, come in. They're doing good, they're working hard. We should be pretty decent this year, I think. Uh, we're looking, I say we're top three. Top. I think we're wrestling off for the district champ over here. And uh, as a team, we, got a, we filled up a couple good weights. A couple guys from last year figured out where the spot wanted to be, and I think our lineup is looking pretty good. And uh, for me personally, I was ranked by PA Power at number 15. So that was pretty good. That was a big goal for me for where I came from. And uh, I'm looking to be somewhere on the podium this year because I'm looking at the lineup and I think I think I could get somewhere top eight, top 10. No, it's definitely the same consistency. He, uh, just because he took over the, the head spot, he's still, he puts, he's putting in more time, taking over the main job. And he's very, very dedicated to the team. So he's always here. He's always putting that work in. He's showing us what to do every day. He, 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 puts, he puts that work ethic into the kids, and it's really, it really shows at the end of the day how much we grind f with him and what he makes us do, the, just how much achievement we can face after that. Yeah, I think it's amazing. I mean, just the, just the quality of work, because Dex and Jason and all the other guys, Richie, all that come in, they're all very high level. They're all D1 wrestlers. So they're all, they can get on the mat with us and just make us work and show us what we actually need to do on the mat, because they have that mat experience that maybe some of us don't have yet. So with that, we can really base and wrestle with them and base our like technique and then actually get that good work in, because it's like almost a live match all the time, just with such a high caliber person. And just like the caliber they are, Dexter's number one wins most of wins in the Chamonix High School ever. Jason, they all went D1, Maryland, Franklin Marshall. They're all very good guys. So like with that base, it helps just me and all the other guys get that good wrestling in that we need every day just to keep building ourselves up. Yeah, I mean, the team's great. I mean, uh, our head coach uh, Trent, he's really trained the team really great. Um, it's a great team. Uh, the team, uh, like they look, uh, uh, looking strong, they all have uh, high goals for themselves. Um, I think we're gonna gonna be undefeated this year. Uh, personally, we're just, we're just looking really strong this year. Like uh, right now, I'm looking at 152, 145 pounds right now. Still deciding between the two. Uh, but but like uh, last year's last year, we got to keep moving forward. Um, but this year, I'm like really looking to take first at states this year. Uh, definitely to uh, get on the podium, get as high up as I can. Just people I lost to last year, regional champ, state placer, state champ. Just uh, practicing with my team and practicing with other clubs, good clubs around the area, I got some offseason awesome tournaments. Yeah, Malvern and Strathaven. Okay. Two main clubs I was like. Definitely helps. A little, a little bit with conditioning, not really, because it's wrestling conditioning is definitely part of the football, but tackling and the physicality definitely helps with. It's definitely, my mom always says she wants me to be a uh, multi-sport athlete, so, it's, and football, I like almost just as much as wrestling, so I enjoy both, and I hope to be the best at getting here, so. Uh, I left a good program at Wood, but I'm excited for this program and what it has to offer me and what I can offer my team, and my own expectations and goals for this year is to um, place at districts and possibly win matches at regionals, because I didn't place at districts last year and I didn't get to go to regionals, but my pretty much the whole team did. So at first it was a little like slow because I didn't think anybody like liked me. They were all just like, who's this kid? Like whatever. Um, but it's actually like pretty welcoming and I've made some friends, so it's going good. The uh, big difference was at Wood we had a lot of preseason runs and conditioning was like a lot better. But I mean you just have to do it on your own now, I guess. We got a young team, new coaches. Uh, last year we didn't do so well, so hopefully this year Newtown can make us do a little better. Uh, hopefully I can make it to regionals, make it past the first round. Uh, last year, unfortunately, I lost both my matches and was done, so hopefully I can make it a little farther.
I've just been lifting a lot, working out, running, going to the gym. So hopefully that makes me push a little farther. Uh, practices have been great. Everybody's working hard. Uh, new coaching staff. Um, everybody's really like molding into the new like style of wrestling, and everybody we all trust in uh, Coach Haley. So um, I've been working hard over the off season and putting in the work during practices and just believing in my coaching staff. My goal is to get back to states and get on the podium. Uh, it's going pretty well. Uh, we've gotten some really good uh, practices in. Quaker Town, we always pride ourselves on working harder than anybody else, and that's kind of how we roll. Um, so yeah, we've gotten some really good work in. We've got two scrimmages under our belts, so we're looking good so far. Um, this year's definitely it's, it's a podium for me. Um, coming close last year, I was one or two away. Um, really lit a fire under me. Uh, I've been working all off season and into the season this year to really uh, really get that medal. Uh, I don't want to leave first for that medal this year. Um, team goal, same as every year, uh, definitely make it to states. Um, we had a tough draw last year, uh, the first round of district duels. Uh, but this year we're really looking to get in the top four or five seating and uh, really get to states. We, that's our team goal. We had a team meeting at the beginning and we really set our goals out. And uh, that was a big one, make it to team states. We know we have the talent. Um, we don't have a lot of injuries this year. Last year we were really uh, injury. We had a lot of injuries. Um, so this year it's definitely, uh, definitely make it to team states and we're working for it every day. Um, I think it's been pretty productive so far. Um, it's been very like basic so far because we have like a very young team, a lot of young guys, a lot of freshmen, um, a lot of like very inexperienced wrestlers. So we're just kind of moving at like a pretty decent pace, getting the basics down. It's been really helpful for me, honestly, as a more experienced wrestler, just getting the basics, just drilling them every day, just like improves my craft every day. Um, uh, outlook for the team. Um, I mean, we might struggle with like filling some spaces uh, as far as like weight-wise, but um, we're looking good. We're looking uh, uh, pretty hungry this year. Uh, my personal goals for this season is definitely to qualify for states this year. Uh, I wrestled a little bit over the summer. Um, it really just comes down to the work that I put in in the wrestling room every day here this season. Um, as far as my preparations, uh, you know, kind of been through football season, finishing my senior year. Uh, things didn't go how I wanted, but um, you know, I'm still working hard every day. You know, doing what I can, doing extra. So as far as training, it's been about the same. Uh, you know, kind of same goals for this year. You know, I know what I want now. As far as like having a clear mindset and you know having having that view of like really finishing and getting to the end. So um, yeah, really just like emphasizing every day. You know what I want to do and you know putting that in my head. So that way it's you know it's not. It's not like an unclear goal. It's every day I'm going to make that goal clear, and I'm going to get get after it every day. Uh, right now, you know, we're waiting for uh, some uh, some uh, football guys to return as far as um, as far as that goes. But um, you know, we got a lot of young talent on our team, and I think uh, through a lot of hard training, um, we'll definitely be a very successful team. We're definitely a district duels team, and we're definitely a team that's planning to go far in district duels. And uh, we're a team that's coming after the league this year, so as far as my goal and you know the team's goal, we all have it uh, clear in our mind that we want that league to be ours, and uh, I don't think anybody's going to stop us. My goal this year is to uh, go match by match, not worry about the outcome. Just go match by match, do my best every match, just performance. Don't even think about the win, just performance, perform my best. And then team goals, I just, I just want to try my best to make my training partners the best they could be, my team the best they could be, everything I can do. Um, he's very intense in practice. He picks out every little thing that's wrong, so we don't have much room for error. Pretty good. We had our scrimmage against Nazareth this past Saturday. We have Boy Town Bear duels this upcoming Saturday. We're looking pretty good. We're out here grinding every day and we're getting better every day. I want to win states just like everybody else, but this year I feel like I'm ready for it and I pushed myself to the limit as I did last year, but this year it's a whole new game. Well, our rivalry against Springfield, obviously, we're hoping to win packs again this year, take them out, and maybe Boyertown. I'm not really sure, but. Uh, really good. Uh, we'll be getting a good uh, pace. Uh, we started filling up a lot of spots, and then uh, we have a lot of uh, new freshmen being introduced to the team, and we're just showing them how to be a part of the team. Uh, my personal goal is to reach 100 wins uh, by uh, the end of the year. 
and there's also the qualify for states. I, I try to go on the mat as frequent as possible. Uh, I've also been uh, trying to work out at least almost every day. So this year the team's a little young. Um, but practice has been going well. We're trying to train these guys up. The team's not as old as it was last year. We have a lot of new sophomores, freshmen that are taking the spots of varsity wrestlers that were seniors last year. So team expectations are just to win as many dual meets as we can with the guys that are filling in for their last year's seniors. And we're just going to see how far we can go as a team, try and get to district duels like last year, and obviously go further than we did last year. I'm trying to go to states, obviously it's everybody's main goal. Um, but the, in the off season, I was doing a lot of lifting because I wasn't as strong as everybody last year as I grew a lot. So this year I feel more strong and I feel like I can accomplish my goals this year as getting in the states. We've lost a lot of seniors these past two years and we have a fairly young team with a few new wrestlers, but then we also got two transfers, um, David and AJ. And I, I believe they'll do really good for our team. And my expectations is that we, um, we take home the, yeah, the, the league tournament. Um, last year was at Wissahick, and I'm not sure where it's at this year. But it's at Happer Horsham. It's at, it's at our school this year? Okay, yeah. I, I believe we can take it home this year. Yeah, my, yeah so my freshman year, um, I was at 106 slash 108, and I did, I think I did, I did pretty good. I, um, I, won, I won a few for the team, a few varsity points for the team. And then my sophomore year, um, I fell a little short for 106 and bumped up to 13 and 115. And I didn't do too hot. I got um, an injury in my shoulder, and it's it's based, it's almost fully healed now. And I'm just starting to get back into the groove of things. So my junior expectations is to um, wrestle a healthy weight while remaining um, healthy, like. My uh, the goal for the team so far this season is the same as it always should be. It's getting district duels and getting out of there going to state duels as a team. Individually, everyone has the ultimate goal, go to state's place. Uh, having him charge is the same as it's always been. I mean, he's just been another force in the, in the room with all the coaches coming in, telling us what to do, how to do it, the best way to do things. So, I mean, it's just one less person in the room really without Coach Stowe. So, from a team perspective, we lost a lot of guys from last year, but we also have a bunch of guys uh, coming back so we don't have as much of like a complete team but individually we're looking really solid and uh, we're going to be sure to get like five six sure wins basically every match so I mean um, we have some big goals we definitely want to get back to district duels this year um, we lost first round last year so we could get a get a few wins in there that'd be nice and individually I mean didn't make it to states last year, so definitely want to make it to states. But uh, I mean, I want to place in states this year, so never want to like set my goals uh, too short. During the summer, I was playing a lot of lacrosse, but during the fall, I w it was just a mixture of both. So I mean, getting in the weight room was probably the biggest thing. So definitely gotten a lot bigger. Uh, I'm up two weight classes this year, so just getting in the weight room was the number one thing, and. Uh, while getting bigger, I mean, keeping my agility up and making sure that I still have that fast twitch motion that like that I use a lot in wrestling. So um, I haven't been as in the wrestling room as much, but uh, now that we're back in the season, it's really fun getting out there, and I'm I'm really excited for the season. Um, well, this year we have a pretty young team. We did lose a lot of kids and last year that were seniors way. and big part of our team. Um, well, our goals are still the same as last year. We plan on getting multiple guys to states, winning the league, yeah, getting yeah. district duels if that's possible, and just getting as many wins as possible on the team. My expectations are really to place at states. I mean, that's the ultimate goal here. Um, obviously, state champ is the goal. So my goal is to get back to states and get on the podium this year. Uh, they've been pretty good. We've been getting in new guys, working them hard. Uh, Getting used to the flow, everything, getting back into season shape, so it's been pretty good. We've been running a lot and stuff. I expect us to win a couple, lose a couple, but I mean, we're still young, we're still developing, we still got a lot of young guys here, a lot of new guys, so we gotta just get everybody ready, hope for the best this season. Well, my goal is to uh, be all time winning 
get the all-time win record here. Uh, like to be on the state podium this year, pretty high up. Uh, win regions, hopefully this year. Uh, yeah, I wrestled a lot of folk style, wrestled a lot of freestyle, went to Fargo, did Super 32. Did almost like every big tournament in the nation I could go to. Uh, in team goals, I think we should at least do really well in leagues. I don't. I pr think we could win the leagues, leagues again this year. Uh, my goals, I want to come district champ again, second time. Uh, and if I can get farther in regionals, definitely want a place, 100%. No, I'm always wrestling. Uh, I used to do soccer as in uh, middle school, but I quit to do wrestling. I practice all year long and practice a lot, really. Um, practice been going pretty good. We had a new coach. Uh, changing the coaching staff and you know not a lot of guys are used to it but um, everyone's working hard in the practice room. We have a really young team so uh, we have a whole lot of potential. Uh, we haven't really done anything yet so there's a lot of room for improvement. 100% um, I need a medal. That's what I'm working for and uh, every single day, every day off, that's what I'm working in. Uh, it's a goal on my mind. It's actually even on my phone. So. Uh, so far, so good. We've had uh, two scrimmages, one at Governor Mifflin High School, which uh, I think we did a really good job at. Definitely learned some things there. And then last weekend, we were at Nazareth, and there was definitely a lot of good kids there to wrestle with. And I know I definitely got a lot out of it, along with the whole team. So I think we're prepared for the season opener against Bordertown, or at Bordertown Duels. The goal is ultimately to win a state title, and there's obviously other stepping stones along the way, but ultimately there's the goal is to win a state title and just become the best wrestler I can throughout the season. Uh, well, of course, spring forward. You know, we go back and forth every year. And then there's always Border Town, the Thacton. There's always a bunch of tough teams in there. And I think it'll be really fun to see you come out on top with the pack title this year. I think this weekend, if we get to the finals at Bear Duels, Council Rock North will be a tough go. Uh, Council Rock South is always very tough, along with a bunch of other teams. Just they're always there to battle. I know Shannon was really tough last year. They only lost Herb and a couple other kids. So it'll be fun to see who's out there running for the title in District 1. And we're back, and we're in our segment now where we talk about our top returners. And we're going to solely place our focus on the returning state medalists we have back here in District 1. Glenn, we could talk about all the returning state qualifiers. But when it comes down to it, we we don't have we don't have all night to, to yeah. Mike's already up. kept me in this basement long enough. Yeah, and it's, the, it's we've been in the basement for four straight days now. Folks. <laughs> yes, yes. He's fed us though. So that's <laughs> an important thing, and and given us water. Uh, so you know, as we go on here, like we talked, to, you know, we had some interviews there, some individuals, their expectations. Now we're gonna, we're going to turn our focus to the guys that maybe are going to carry the torch for us this year at the District One level at, out at Hershey, and. You know, uh, when Mike puts the illustration up on the uh, or the graphic up on the screen, as you can see there, uh, it's led by Cam Robinson from Council Rock North, returning state runner-up. Lost in the finals last year to Ryan Anderson from Bethlehem Catholic. Ryan Anderson has since moved on and graduated. And Cam is one of the top-ranked wrestlers at 152 pounds currently. So Cam, again, is going to be a guy that, that will be looked to in our region to uh, you know be a favorite to win a state title come March. Yeah, absolutely. I think Cam, you know, right now is ranked number one, uh, if not number two, you know, depending on what some of the rankings you look at. Um, but, you know, let's talk about this weight class at 152 with Cam Robinson, A.J. Tamburino, and Antonio Petroselli right now. Now, certainly Tamburino and Petroselli are guys that could drop to 145. Um, but, you know, this is a, a group at the same weight class or, you know, within two weight classes, um, you know, you're talking, you know, three medals, top medals. And we're not talking, you know, cheapo seven, eight medal here. We're talking, uh, you know, two, three, five. Uh, and so, you know, I, I'm going to really enjoy this weight class. If at least two of these guys are in the same weight class in the postseason, I mean, it's just going to there's going to be un unbelievable finals. And Cam Robinson is so dynamic. So, talk about an exciting wrestler. Um, you never know what he's going to do. I mean, you know, he could, he could be going one way and that could pick you the other, and you, you just don't know what hit him. I mean, you know Petroselli's come with a blow-through double, but Cam Robinson, is just, his arsenal is, is just deep. Yeah, he, that length just he can keep so many wrestlers at bay, and he was hard. To, it's hard to get to his legs, even though for as long as they are, he just he just does a phenomenal job of protecting them. It makes you work and earn every single point you get. But moving on, Glenn, we got coming back off a third place finish. We have Hunter Kaka from Sun Valley, who as a sophomore was a state champ. Um, you know, uh, I totally expect uh, you know Kaka is going to come in, you know, as the as the guy to beat it at uh, at heavyweight to win a state title this year. And uh, you know, I don't see. 
Uh, if he's on his game, I don't see anything stopping him. If he stays healthy, I don't see anything stopping him. No, there's no question. I mean, Hunter Kaka is the man to beat this weight class. I think Hunter Kaka uh, right now is also ranked pretty high nationally. Um, uh, Hunter Kaka, um, you know, if he's going to wrestle at the next level, he's going to have to dominate uh, the weight class. And, you know, you've seen these uh, type of wrestlers before, like uh, Jordan Wood uh, at heavyweight, um, that, you know, they really – and, and Kaka kind of in a similar situation with that injury, you know, as Wood. Um, this is his year to, to get back to the finals uh, and win a state title convincingly, um, and that kind of really will legitimize his career. Uh, and, and when he gets to the next level, um, you know, he could kind of have that – uh, uh, off his off his shoulders a little bit, like you know, I'm I'm the best here at the weight class coming in, and you know, certainly develop like a Jordan Wood. So I, Hunter Kaka for me, it, it's kind of the upside. Like, wh- what's his future look like at the collegiate level? I'm really looking forward to that transition. So uh, nothing less for a state title from Hunter Kaka this season. We got Junior Kyle Hauserman, and also as you talk about Tamburino is a senior. Uh, you know, both third last year, 106 and 145 respectively. And uh, again, they're guys that are going to be in a conversation to 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 bring home gold. And it, you know, we have a lot. We're, we're lucky. This is a year with in District One. We have a lot of top end talent, uh, Hauserman, and all these guys too. We're going to be talking about them later when we talk about our college commits. So you know, uh, Hauserman is so tough on top. He's gotten a little bit bigger, uh, you know, but again, so dynamic from top and can turn in different ways. Tam Brown is, again, you know, as, as tough, um, to quote my buddy Rob Walco, as tough as a $2 steak, um, you know, in, in all positions. And, uh, you know, moving on, we talk about two of the fourth place returning guys, Luke Lucerne, who's going to debut probably uh, or has debuted as one of the top guys at 132 pounds in the state because of uh, the wins that he's uh, accumulated this preseason and into the season. So, you know, Lucerne's going to be a favorite to, to win gold. And you've already gushed about Joey Milano. Yeah, and, you know, back to A.J. Tamburino, Mike forgets that he's transferred to Happer Horsham already, and he is eligible for the postseason. I know there was a lot of concern about that, so we'll kind of share that right now, uh, that, that Tamburino is going to be uh, eligible in the postseason. So, you know, A.J. Tamburino has had one goal since he started wrestling uh, at, in the PIAA, and that was to win a state title. Um, he's got probably the toughest foe in his own backyard, uh, here in District 1 with uh, Cam Robinson. Uh, but Tamburino is on a mission. He He's very similar to Petroselli. He's nonstop on his feet. He's going to keep coming. He's going to score points. Um, I really think that, uh, you know, a guy that's placed third at States uh, has the the knowledge to to get to, to the, the finals uh, at a state tournament. So uh, big things are expected from A.J. Tamburino. Um, you know, here we are again. This is the third now Council Rock North guy we're talking about with Luke Luzerne going down the list. And I was talking about this Council Rock North team. Um, so, you know, Luke Luzerne uh, and, and the college commits of, of all these kids that we're looking at, when, when you see where these kids are going to college, I, I, I'm, is it wrong to be up, excited about what they're going to do at the collegiate level? I mean, look at this list. Um, and Hauserman's only a junior. So, um, yeah, Joey Milano. Oh my goodness. I, I already, you know, declared what he's going to do. Um, you know, Joey Milano is going to win a state title in my mind. I mean, that, th- this is his time. I think he's at the right, right weight class. He's in the right frame of mind. Uh, coach size love, uh, you know, coaches him up every day. I know coach Nugent up there. I know he's not the coach, but, um, you know, the, the whole district is, is behind Joey Milano to win a state title. Um, and I just feel that, that, that kid, Every time he gets his hand raised, it's like, this is not good enough. I want to win a state title. So, um, you know, I think we have some real legitimate state violence on this board. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Uh, Max Hale or Maximus Hale, uh, you know, um, and, and Antonio Petroselli, two pair of fifth place winners from a year ago. Uh, again, Max Hale is just, he just, he, he's, he just horses you when he's out there. He's just so physical and, it can beach in different ways, and you know you talked about Petroselli, and you know Petroselli and Tambrino were to wrestle, uh, it, it would be like, you know, uh, I don't know, two Tasmanian devils going at each other. Uh, you know, it, it, you think back to the cartoons where you just see like the the the, the whirling dervishes, yeah, yeah. whirling dervishes going at one another because they're just so alike. The roadrunner, exactly, they just go after one another, and and you know I would be excited to see that, and you know again. 
Petroselli has, has been in the state tournament uh, twice. Once came back with a fifth place medal, um, and uh, he's got his sights set sights set on on you know getting gold. And you know he was a he was uh, he was close to making uh, the semis last year. Uh, so you know it's um, you know yeah. I mean I'm going to talk about Max Hale again, and uh, not just talk about his hairdo. Um, I, I think that Max Hale, um, if he can. Uh, maybe channel his energy a little bit uh, and be able to to have uh, extra uh, you know juice at the end of matches um, you know in some of the closer matches that he's going to have when he gets uh, up to Hershey um, he's already been on the podium uh, in, in the fifth spot um, I know he he's he's not going to be happy with anything uh, less than the state title you know all these guys um, you know are looking to get a state title but I think Max Hale if he can channel some of that energy I'm sure coach Breeze is is working with him uh, on the bigger matches and he got one this uh, um, weekend you know taking second place and, and an early season loss is good for a wrestler and I just think Max Hale is kind of you know really progressed each year and prepared himself for a state title so uh, he's a, he's someone you got to keep your eye on I mean around the state people forget about this kid mm-hmm. um, you know you can't forget about a kid uh, coming from a downtown program now next we got Kyle Waterman you know Kyle Waterman is uh, you know he's a guy that has had a lot of expectations for years now and you know, for whatever reason, things haven't worked out for him at Hershey. It, we we've mentioned unfinished business in this. Uh, you know, and, the, and we're going to mention we're going to mention a lot of unfinished business and, and as far as teams go in, in these uh, uh, these previews. But Kyle Waterman's got unfinished business, and uh, you know, whatever weight he goes, he is he's going to be determined uh, to to get high on that opponent as possible, and if not a top it. Uh, and then we go look at the next one, Killian Delaney. Uh, you know, Killian Delaney coming off a year in which he was eighth. But let's not let's not forget what he did as a sophomore. He went to state final. You know, he's all he ever does is show up at big tournaments. That's all he ever does. And the the kid's a gamer. He can go. He's physical. He can beat you in a lot of different ways. He's tough on his feet. He's tough on top. You know, and expect you know you know he's disappointed after after last season's eighth place finish uh after you know coming off a year in which he was a runner-up so again another guy with unfinished business that has sky high goals for himself yeah i mean just to comment on both those guys i mean waterman i agree you know um he he has some unfinished business in hershey and moving up in the weight class to prepare himself uh, for the next level really to me shows a sign of maturity so that's the sign of maturity uh that he may need uh wrestling against some of those bigger guys and also um, you know, he might not be facing some of the same guys that have been his nemesis over the years, uh, including Hauserman, uh, from his neighboring school, uh, his sister, you know, Council Rock North. So uh, I do expect Warden to be, uh, you know, definitely in, in the top five, uh, and, and fighting for a state title. Killing Delaney, yeah, you know, that, that kid's hungry to get back to the state semifinals at least and, and see if he can get himself back to a, a state title. Um, to to a chance at the state title, but you know we were talking about off count uh, off count how hard it it is not only to get back to states but then to get back on the podium and go higher up the podium. So th- for these two guys, th- there is a similarity in in Delaney and Waterman. They have a, a desire to get higher on the podium, whether it be a state title or not, but definitely better than last year's results. And that that to me is a good motivator. So last year we got there a trio of eighth place finishers that return: Emmanuel Lawal. From Church Farm School, big boy, yeah, yeah, big boy, one of our Double A brethren. Uh, you know, definitely expecting him uh, to to move up on that podium at uh, at two eighty five. Then Julian uh, Maldonado, how explosive is he? Talk about explosive! I mean, there's another guy that you know you don't want to wrestle this kid. I don't care what weight he's at either. Um, and Boyertown kids, once they go, once they get a taste uh, up on the the Hershey floor, um, they know what to do going back up the second time. So I expect Maldonado to fro- rise up the podium. And, and Mayor Maldonado, you know, when we had a little bit of an up and down season, was hurt for a little bit in the middle of the season, um, then rallied and had a great state tournament, and like I said, got himself uh, onto the podium. So again, uh, that that has to be an unbelievable confidence booster for him moving forward, knowing that he can he can hang and bang with these guys. And it, you know, memory serves me correct, he was an undersized six pounder last. Last year, uh, now he's grown into the weight. Uh, you know, I, I think I believe he debuted at 113 this past weekend. Uh, but I, I expect him maybe down at 106 for the, for a postseason run. And we'll finish off with Matt Vulak, younger brother of Ryan Vulak. Uh, you know, he was eighth at 106 last year. Again, another guy that wasn't quite a full 106. 
Um, you know, he took second at the Brandy Wine Bullet Invitation, I believe, this weekend. Um, and it, it's another guy that that coming out of that Double A, and, and that Double A region, that Northeast region there, and with District Three and District Eleven, is a grinder. So you know, coming out of there, uh, you know, you become battle tested, and, and you know what you need to be of what you need to do in order to get on the podium at Hershey a week later. Yeah, and you know, Volok, you know, can he be the the second state champ for for Pope John Paul? I mean, that's got to be being a younger brother of a state champion always is a another motivator. Just look at the Rappo family, um, you know, each trying to outdo the the other brother. So I think Matt Volok is going to be totally focused. And we talked about you know Coach Sheets there taking over the program, and he'll he'll have him prepared in the postseason. So right now we're going to talk about some top incoming freshmen that. Uh, District One is, uh, you know, going to going to be seeing this year, and uh, you know, on uh, thanks to uh, the top incoming freshman list from PA Power Rankings, uh, District One has four uh, that you know we want to take a look at. And that's Hayden Mann from Harry S. Truman, uh, Merrick Seaman from Westchester Ruston. Uh, both of them ranked in the top 100, 68 and 73rd, respectively. And then honorable mentions, Cole Coffin from Penridge and Bo Horvath, son of Joe Horvath, head coach at Dangtown East. And, uh, you know, for uh, Hayden Mann, I believe he's debuting somewhere around 138. Yep. So it's a weight class where, you know, traditionally for, for freshmen, it, they may struggle because of, uh, you know, the physicality of it. And just like Bo Horvath, uh, um, coming in at like 152, he's gonna be wrestling some guys that are, uh, you know, a little more physically mature uh, and mentally mature at that. And you know, the the freshman mind in that in that in that uh, in that first high school season, uh, there could be lots of ups and downs and lots of pitfalls for them. So, you know, we'll see how these guys, and we're gonna keep an eye on them, see how they navigate it. Yeah, I mean, Glenn. you know, talking about Hayden Man, you know, we I got a chance to interview him first time I met him, and. Um, you know, we, we talk a lot about the PJW success, and this is a kid that took fifth in the PJWs, um, and he, he, he really is focused on just improving uh, every time he goes out and wrestles and, and learning uh, and, and kind of having fun with it. And I really like the kid, and, and I wish him well. And, um, you know, we have another kid up there with Seaman from Ruston, another kid uh, that had a great success at PJW. He took a fourth place there. Um, so, you know, those are two good kids, uh, you know, obviously on the board, uh, at PA Power Wrestling, uh, with, with their top incoming freshmen. And we're really not sure about, uh, Coffin if he's gonna, you know, if he's on that Penridge roster. We haven't seen him yet. We haven't seen him debut yet. They did wrestle at the CV, uh, this past weekend, the classic. So we'll, we'll keep our eyes open on, on Cole. And then, uh, you know, Horvath, you know, uh, he's well coached. Uh, what can we say? Uh, great program at Downingtown. He's a two time, uh, PJW state qualifier himself. So yeah, good luck to these guys and, uh, the kids that are up there in the middle. We, we saw that last year a little bit with the North Penn kid, um, you know, kind of jumping in. Uh, I forget his name. I don't mind forgetting his name. We'll get to you later. But, um, you know, that's a tough weight class to jump in at 138. So, um, you know, Hayden Mann will be tested right out of the gate along with Seaman, uh, at those, those middle weights. So good luck to those guys and hopefully we see some other names pop up, Joe, uh, during the season that, that we didn't know about. Yeah. So again, moving on, we got uh, you know right before we wrap up today's uh, preview, uh, we got the college commits, and we kind of talked about in the opening like how impressive this list is, uh, and and it's only going to grow. This is early; these are a lot of early commits. We actually have, uh, I believe, just two juniors on the list as well. Uh, so I guess we can start with the. You want to start with the juniors, Glenn? You know, I figured we get yeah, them I'm out of the way. For my list um, here. We got uh, off the top. We got. Uh, um, uh, Sammy Hayes from I got you. All right, here we go. Council Rock North is committed to go to, to University of Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Russell there for the Panthers. And, oh, is and that another Coach... Council Rock North guy? Yes, another Council Rock North guy we haven't <laughs> talked about yet. <laughs> yet. So Sammy Hayes uh, did lose last season due to injury. The other junior on the list we have is uh, Jack McGill from Springford. And Jack McGill is uh, committed or verbally committed to Columbia University. Uh, you know, Ivy League special there. Uh, Patriot League, Ivy League, whatever you want to call it, uh, EIWA wrestler. So, um, you know, those are two juniors that got on, on, on it early and got it out of the way. But then we look at the rest of the list and we go back to the top, Mike. 
And we'll just go in order. It's alphabetical by school. So you look at John Cluen, big heavyweight um, from Ben Salem. He is a, a rider commit, um, you know, for the fall of 2020. So and rider's an up and coming program. It is. Right it is. So I had that's to, a that's a good move for him. Kind of you know staying close to home, which you know I think is important to to John. But he's going to be at a great program. No. Agreed. I had a, the opportunity to see Ryder at the Keystone Classic a few weeks back, and they, uh, they have a nice team. They have a few guys ranked in, in, in ten, inside the top 10 and in and around 10. So they're uh, they're definitely doing a good job of uh, they're uh, getting in some Pennsylvania kids, but they're also keeping the New Jersey kids home, and they're competing with uh, Rutgers for some of those top-end Jersey talents. So you know, and hats off to the, the, the Ryder and the staff for, for making that happen. Yeah, and then you have Isaiah Stamen from Cheltenham, Coach Stamen's uh, son, going off to Sierra College at the JUCO level. And uh, I think you know that'll be a short stay for Isaiah. I think he'll move on and uh, get himself into a, a higher level program, Division three, two, or Division one. But um, you know, certainly he's going to wrestle at the next level. I mean, he had a great season, breakout season last year, um, and I, I expect him to get get to Hershey this year. Uh, next, we have Matt. Richardson from Chichester, he has committed to go to East Stroudsburg University, Division Two, uh, that one of, the, one of the PSAC schools. And again, Richardson is a guy you don't hear a lot about because he comes from a, a, a Dell Valley League school. But uh, you know, the proof's in the pudding, and looking at his record and, and what he's accomplished, he's just a tough, hard-nosed wrestler. And uh, you know, he's looking to take his talents to the next level there, and then the Division Two level. And then, of course, we talked a lot about Cam Robinson. Or Do you want to just hit all the Rock North guys in a row? Like, just you, you want just, me to take care just, of it? We, uh, you, you get all the Rock North. Guys Guys, I'll take the rocks out. Uh, you got it. So Cam Robinson, obviously one of the the highly most highly recruited wrestlers in our area for sure, going to Iowa State, making the the jump out there. Um, so that's a big time wrestling program, and I know Cam uh, is certainly looking forward to that. Um, but he has some some business to take care of before he gets uh, to Iowa. But uh, you know, we talked uh, a little bit before about this Council Rock North team and Council Rock North. Uh, all these kids, the upside, I, I really am anticipating to see how they do at the next level. Dylan Shee going to West Point. This talks about the character of this Council Rock North program, uh, getting a, 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 an appointment to any of the academies, any of the military academies is, is an unbelievable feat. Um, it takes a lot of discipline. So Dylan Shee uh, is going to not only serve our country, but he's going to uh, you know, wrestle at the next level. Uh, Kyle Hauserman. Uh, he's just going to go to Penn, uh, another Ivy League school um, on the list here. Uh, and again, uh, an early commit we talked about. Luke Luzerne, uh, where's he going to go? He's going to the U.S. Naval Academy. Uh, again, uh, another kid committing to his country and uh, you know wrestling um, and going to a, to a great program down there at the Naval Academy. It's one of the most beautiful places uh, in, in the United States. Uh, if you've never been to Annapolis, make sure you get out and go see Luke Luzerne uh, wrestle with A.J. Tamburino uh, over the next couple of years down there. Um, and then uh, I think we mentioned Sammy Hayes as well uh, going to Pittsburgh. So it's on to the Council Rock South, boys. So Council Rock South. And what would consider a slow year for them only has two Division One commits, but they don't have a lot of seniors in the roster uh, that you know that are, are impact wrestlers. But Gianni Gilch and Gianni Gilch just I gotta I gotta say, Glenn, and I think you'll you'll agree, like he's a guy that just all he's done is just gotten better over the course of his career. Um, you know, he's just he's just a testament to hard work. Uh, and and is used that to his advantage, and he's going to VMI in in, in the fall, and uh, VMI is doing a good job of recruiting in in Pennsylvania, as we're going to see in a second. Uh, Kyle Waterman, recent commit to Appalachian State, and again another school I think that's on the up, and and another, uh, where they're uh, doing a good job of trying to recruit to Pennsylvania. Uh, assistant head assistant coach Josh Rusa is a Crestwood graduate, went to Bloomsburg, and uh, you know knowing him that he realizes how important it is to ha be able to come into Pennsylvania and get kids down to uh, Boone, North Carolina. Uh, you know, most notably last year, they got a uh, big time recruit, Julian Goring uh, from Fort LaBeouf uh, out there in uh, western part, northwestern part of the state. Yeah, just, just one other Council Rock South, uh, you know, wrestler we should mention here, and that's Cole Flanagan. He hasn't made a decision, um, but, you know, there are a lot of kids out there um, still, you know, making their decisions, uh, going on uh, re recruiting visits. Um, so we're going to see this list in, in, improve uh, in terms of numbers down the road. And we may even see some other top uh, schools come onto this list. So I'm going to grab the Downingtown West guys. We have Chase Melnick, and he's also going to VMI like Gianni Gilch. And Melnick's another guy 
who just has been a mainstay in that lineup since like freshman year and been winning big matches since then. And, you know, it's the hard work's paid off with the Virginia military and suit commitment. And, you know, just Reese most recently saw with the championship at the Cumberland Valley kickoff classic. And the guy we've talked a lot about to, uh, over the course of these previews or will talk about uh, Maximus Hale. He's also only going to Penn. Uh, Glenn, sidebar <laughs> question. How do you think his mullet will fit in down there in an Ivy league school? Uh, you you put a tie on and a jacket, Joe. You look good with any hairdo. Okay, so see if that Mac can keep it if you want. I don't know how Coach Reyna will feel about it and his staff down there, but you can't say enough good things about Penn and Drexel having the PRTC right there and the, the top talent, the talent that they have in there helping those kids get bigger, better. So you know anyone that makes a choice to go to Penn or Drexel at, from an academic level is is tremendous, but from an athletic level, uh, you know Penn, um, both schools I feel are, are on the up and, and utilizing that that uh, PRTC. So I'll, I'll let you talk about your uh, your new guy. Yeah, sure. AJ Tamburino, you know, transferring over from uh, William Tennant to Happer Horsham this year. Uh, another, um, you know, guy that's going to serve uh, our country uh, with a United States Naval Academy um, appointment. Uh, we wish the best to him. Uh, Keyway uh, McNair uh, from Methacton going to Kutztown. Coach Rob up there. Um, he's taken a lot of District 1 wrestlers under his wing. Um, he's had national champs out there. Very successful program at the D2 level. Um, and I think that's a really good spot for, for Keyway next year. I'll talk about Gunner Spain. I got the chance to talk to him about Drexel uh, University. Again, uh, you know, um, obviously uh, Gunner's got a good head on his shoulders going to Drexel. Uh, he's pretty focused on what he wants to do uh, as an engineer there. Um, and, you know, and the Chamonix guy that's already committed. Um, you can talk about your boy, uh, Antonio Petroselli. Uh, Petroselli from ONJ Roberts is heading to University of Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, uh, sadly enough for me being a, a WVU alumni, him going to Pitt. Uh, but, you know, nevertheless, I, I, I can root for one Pitt wrestler, I guess. <laughs> um, but, you know, Coach Keith Gavin and Jordan Lean and uh, that staff out there uh, at Pittsburgh is doing a great job. Uh, you know, he's most recently out here this way and beat Drexel um, and uh, beat Lehigh. So they're, they're, they're definitely on the up in that ACC and they're doing a good job of keeping Pennsylvania kids home. You know, they're, they're getting those kids that aren't getting in, that aren't going to Penn State and they're keeping them home in state. And, you know, they're also, it helps that they're located in the, the you know, one of the two big hotbeds for wrestling in the state of Pennsylvania. So that, that works out for them. Uh, Kevin Quinn from Oxford is going to Belmont Abbey College in North Carolina. Uh, you know, Quinn's a, a guy that, that kind of flies under the radar coming out of that Chessmont because, you know, there's there's a lot of other uh, guys that, that just get a little more notoriety. I don't know if it's because Oxford's so far off the beaten path. Uh, I don't know what it is, but, you know, you look at look at what he's accomplished and it's like, you know, you feel like he, he should get a little more ink. So, uh, you know, congrats to him on earning, uh, you know, some uh, a scholarship to Belmont Abbey. We talked about Jack McGill going to Columbia, uh, and of course Hunter Kaka. He's going to wrestle at the next level down at Virginia Tech, and um, you know they they've had a great great uh, feeder uh, program here from Pennsylvania right on down to Va Tech over the years. So um, I think uh, they're going to expect big things down there from Hunter Kaka, especially a, a big guy coming down there. Um, they're they're going to be pretty pleased that coaching staff. Uh, Killen Delaney going to Lock Haven and TJ England going to Clarion. Those are schools that I really like. I like to see kids go to uh, you know Pennsylvania Division One schools, especially a program like Lock Haven for Killen Delaney uh, with great history out there. Uh, and TJ England to Clarion uh, again. We've had some some local kids go out to Clarion here from District One, uh, especially from down our way in Warminster, uh, including uh, retired Coach Regis's son. So. Definitely a good pipeline out to Clarion as well. And Clarion's kind of been a little bit, uh, you know, they've had a, a nice little movement in the last several yep. years. Um, so, you know, TJ England can add to that uh, that movement. So just a great group we have, a great list. Um, and I think we're going to get in some video. Uh, the boys are going to let us know. I just, I, I love Penn. I mean, can't get better academically. They're a really tough wrestling team, so... I feel like we just kind of match perfectly, so it's um, where I want to go. So, I mean, I, I just knew where I wanted to go, so like it wasn't a big deal to me, but I, I guess it is kind of positive that now I can just really hone in on my goals and don't have to worry about anything else except what I want to do. So. 
Naval Academy was always a goal of mine since I was a little kid. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to serve my country and wrestle Division One. I. I think there's great opportunities there, especially having the great opportunity to serve my country as a Naval officer. And uh, I think it's, it's really the best place for myself too because I can build myself morally, physically, and mentally uh, better than any other spot in the country. So that's really what led my decision to go there. Last year, I got uh, Josh Jebba got in contact with me and he started talking and we got uh, pretty friendly and I got to go over to Drexel and I got to talk with the team and all the guys and Coach Azevedo and Coach Schaefer. They're all really nice guys and they, they were talking to me a lot and I, uh, I really appreciated the contact they gave me and all the information they're giving me and I really like the school. I want to major in an engineer. I want to be an engineer and they're a very, very high class engineering school in uh, NPA. So, uh, and their, their, the wrestling program was amazing. I loved all the guys on the team. They're so friendly. They were awesome. I got to meet everybody. They were all very nice. Uh, the coaches were very open. I got, to, I got to talk to them for like an hour, two hours when I got to go look at the school. And I just really just the, the family vibe that they gave me was what I really appreciated when I went to meet them. And that's why I chose to commit to Drexel University. Um, I've been in contact with Ryder University, uh, Old Dominion University, and uh, a little bit from Columbia. Uh, I really like Ryder and I really like Old Dominion. I actually went down to a camp at Old Dominion, uh, toured the campus, talked to the coaches, really great guys. Um, the campus is beautiful. Uh, it's 30 minutes from the beach, so Virginia Beach, so that's really a, that's a plus for me. And I really like the coach at Ryder. Um, he's a nice guy. The campus is really good. It's really small and kind of more built for me. Um, and it's closer. It's like an hour away from home. So I really, uh, I really like those two schools so far. Well, right now I'm thinking uh, Coast Guard Academy. Uh, the coach approached me to wrestle there. Um, if that doesn't work, I'll enlist into the military. Uh, I signed with VMI, Virginia Military Institute, and uh, I'm actually pretty excited for that. Can't wait. And the uh, process was uh, not too complicated, but it was hard work had to be done, you know, fill out applications, meeting with the coach, visit the campus. I really do like the campus. It's really uh, Something special. They have a lot of new facilities and all that. I actually saw uh, some other kids from the, the region are going there too. Nice. Like Milnick and uh, Musa. Uh, I've been looking at ROTC as my route for college. Uh, it's just something I always wanted to do, and I feel like I'd be great at it. Uh, I will probably ultimately end up wrestling for whatever school I go to, uh, just for the club team or on the actual team. I don't know yet but hopefully it'll happen. Definitely football's out of the question. Uh, definitely a wrestler. So, I mean, my plan is to try and wrestle in college, whether it's D3, D, D2, or D1. Um, I just really like the sport. It's great to grow personally, and just it helps you, you know, with everything. So, you know, wherever I end up going, probably gonna end up going for wrestling. Uh, I really would like to go to a Division One school, so that way I can really, you know, uh, grow more and, you know, release my full potential in this sport. So as far as uh, you know, college, college-wise, I'm uh, undecided. Haven't really decided where I'm going yet. I actually just committed, what last, what uh, Thursday, to um, Cutstown, Cutstown University. Uh, I signed and everything solid, send paper. They're a great D2 school. I uh, had alumni go to that school. Um, Bryce Reddington's there actually. Uh, we had a couple guys from Boyertown also attend that school. And you know, I've, I've actually been there multiple times throughout my life uh, for wrestling camps. I know the campus and I kind of knew what I wanted to do and they were just the right fit. I really like the whole coaching staff there. Coach Gavin, Headley, Lean, and UT all do a great job and they all bring something different to the table. And Gavin's kind of like almost Duraffalo out there and he's very humble and everything. It just reminds me of home a lot. Uh, it was pretty good. I mean, I had a lot of other schools, but I don't know. I just bonded very well with the guys at Clarion. Um, had a lot of fun going up there. They were very nice guys. Very like, as soon as like one of their coaches said, maybe dropped one to another school, another guy picked it right back up where they left off and was right on top of it everywhere. You know, uh, actually, I was looking at Binghamton where Zach Trampay and Joey Doyle go. So Binghamton was one of my top choices. I also was looking at actually the Bloom. Bloomsburg coach came by to one of our practices, Coach Micic, and I was also looking at a couple other schools, but the school that really uh, hit me most was Appalachian State, and uh, that's where we'll be heading next fall. Well, actually, this summer, I'll be heading there, the end of June. Nice, so, Be beautiful down there. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. The coaches are great, Coach Bentley, Coach Russa, and Coach LeBlanc. They're awesome guys. You, uh, you like the outdoors? Oh, I love the outdoors. We're, on, like, we're in the mountains. It's like, it's amazing, it's beautiful up there.
Yeah, um, I mean, like uh, some of the teams uh, that I was considering was the uh, University of Penn, uh, Army West Point, uh, uh, Drexel University, and um, and um, um, uh, uh, Oklahoma State too. But the Naval Academy, I just haven't um, seen a team like them. They uh, they work very hard. Um, it's a it's a very prestigious school, um, and and I thought that that I was just meant for more than just going to just to a regular uh, collegiate institute. Um, it's one to serve my country, but. But like uh, this year, I want to prove to them that I can like uh, be the best and uh, make it worth their while. Like junior year, I was like, I, I want. I remember I wanted to commit like after the season because I knew going into the senior season, I just wanted to like let it fly. And now that that pressure's off, I feel like I feel like I can just work on things now and just like I'm, I'm more clear-headed too. I'm not. I'm just wrestling for myself and not to. Get to work. Yeah, that's like the one of the uh, big reasons why I chose the school. Like just like the culture there. And the people are behind it, and the atmosphere is crazy. So that's like, I'm very excited to wrestle there. All right, that's a wrap for today's video. Uh, looking towards tomorrow, we have our what everyone's waiting to see, Glenn, is our, our top 12 teams and the, the previews of the coaches, then their, uh, their interviews. So, you know, we're going to culminate with tomorrow's videos and everyone's going to get to see where we're at. Uh, but, you know, today we covered a lot of stuff. We had wrestler interviews, we had our top returning place winners, we had our top incoming freshmen, and our college commits, which, you know, was a big day, a lot of information, a lot of great wrestlers here in district one right to, uh, today that we were able to showcase yeah and again special thanks to the guys that went out there and did the video work uh on our squad and and again special thanks to skookle valley sports and, and asics for sponsoring pa wrestling.com this year and um we're looking forward to a great uh what i would call the real preview show tomorrow night with our top 10 yeah glenn and i are gonna throw down <laughs>